Greetings! I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Heat Signature. This is not how I pictured my retirement. Getting shot over a nebula of battery acid in the ass end of nowhere. But I'm invested now. And there's one last thing I want to do before I quit. Alright, so this is a game that was made by the creators of Gunpoint. If you don't know what Gunpoint is, I played the whole game in five parts. It is in the description. Oop. However, this game, unlike that game, is a space game. That game was kind of like a noir stealth puzzle game. This is, uh, it's actually kind of similar in certain ways, but also not really at all. <laughs> so I need to use this ship to dock with this ship. Uh, the controls are different than they are in the main game right now, so actually I guess it's just because that ship's not moving that makes it feel so different. But, um, you take your little ship, and then you dock to other ships and you move around. It's like the standard, like, WASDA... It's like Hotline Miami. Move around with the, uh, the WASDA keys and then you can use your mouse to, uh, aim. Not that I have anything right now. So they first want me to pause. So around the ship, if there's items on the ground, you can actually teleport them to you. It's like kind of a weird feature, but there's a, uh, face breaker. And a level one key card. That's really what I need because that, uh, let me open this door right here. Facebreaker is going to be my primary weapon, but they want me to pause again. Select the facebreaker, stand here, and then strike. <laughs> now I can take his gun, now that I've knocked him out. Or killed him, I'm not really sure what is going on here. Some people done got knocked out. Alright, pause now. Alright, right click the gun. So now right click is my secondary attack, so I have a, uh, a face breaking attack and a gun attack. Stand about here. Okay, so now I've shot the gun, so they're like, what's happening? But now, and face break this guy, take his key. So now I have access to level 2 doors. So, alarms. Guards sound an alarm if they hear a shot, find a body, or see you. And then a countdown will begin. Um, to cancel the countdown, though, you have to take out the captain. Which I have... Okay, well, I just certainly killed the captain. Um, now that I've taken the captain out, I can helm the ship... And I can fly it back to my base. Breaker, I've got the siege ship. I've laid a course back to Hard Rock Haven. This ship can crash the defenses, but you've got to reprogram them from the inside while they're down. I'm going to throw myself into space now. Meet in the bar if I don't die. Hoot! Alright, so now I'm flying through space. <laughs> that little uh, white thing is me. All right, design codes and words by Thomas. Art by John. I'm on a first name basis with all these guys by way of me not saying their last name. Is that the same John or are there just two Johns? Is there an inordinately large amount of Johns here? Oh, music is also by Chris. Is that... That can't be... That has to be one of the same Johns, right? Heat signature! Cold Rock Haven has been captured and recaptured four times this year. First three times, no one who lived there could fight it. This time, one of them can. This time, one of them has a 40-year career in espionage, a breacher stealth pod, and a kinetic facebreaker. So, it's gonna change hands one last time. This time, I'm taking it. Well, if you'll remember, <laughs> when we last met our hero, she was flying through space. So, pause. Um, I can use that ship that I used to dock to the other ship. I'm now controlling the ship. So what I need to do is uh, control the ship to catch myself in space. This is a very important skill. I have to approximately match the speed. I need to go back, and boom. I'm now inside of the ship and piloting it with my face and not with remote control or whatever the hell. I need to fly all the way here to, what is it, Hard Rock Haven? Cold Rock Cauldron? Spiffy Spectacled Saloon? Alright, docking. Awesome. <laughs> 
Now, she talked to someone named Breaker before, and that is who I'm going to talk to here. To Breaker. Holy shit, you're alive. I get that more than you'd think. Hey, we have a station! We have a station. This is gonna start something, you know? Other stations are gonna want to throw off the shackles like this. Four factions fighting over this cloud. If we ever get their strongholds, this war just ends. That's the plan. Sure you don't want to postpone your retirement and help out? You tear through these amateurs! I am helping. I'm drinking and helping. Fair enough. So that's that. You're really gonna retire. I can't picture it. What are you gonna do? I have connections. People here have problems. I'm going to help out. Well, they're gonna come to me with those, but I'll point them your way. Thanks, B. Alright, it's time to retire. So yes, now um, I have to pick one of these random characters. So, let's see here. Everyone starts out with a tiny little bit of money, it looks like. So, every single one of these characters has a different mission that they start out with. A like personal mission. That Well, I, I, just, I tried to mouse over it, and I, now I can't see it. Um, so, like, this person's personal mission is to rescue my idiot mom from who got captured by the Foundry. This one is rescue my daughter from off-world security. This one is steal a prototype to make enough money to pay off my kid's debt. And this one is... Kill the officer who murdered my sister. I think we're going to have to go with that. That sounds a lot more uh, pressing, doesn't it? Um, so here is where you can actually practice the main game without like any uh, trouble, because this game has permadeath. If your character dies, it is dead, and there ain't nothing you can do about it, though it's not as big as a deal as you might think. You know, it, it's, it's, um, it's roguelike worlds, essentially. But now they want me to take on an easy mission. There are different jobs that I can take. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna rescue someone. Um, I guess I'll describe what you are seeing here. This is a mission details, exactly what the mission is, what type it is. Alarm response is basically, if you screw up, you have that amount of time to get out. Because what happens is, if they set off an alarm, they start driving to the nearest space station. If they get to that space station, you are captured, and it is the same as your character dying. With one slight difference, but I'm not going to get into that right now. It mentions that it has very few guards, which means I'm not going to face a lot of opposition if I choose to do this. The guards only are carrying wrenches, which is the lowest level, so no one even has a gun. And there's no, like, crazy, um... There's no crazy, like, boss or anything here, but there's key cards, and I guess one person might have a gun here. But we're going to do that. The uh, Liberation Bar is not that important right now. But, um, I can actually talk to her. The character that you play as before acts as kind of a mission hub for all other characters. Hey, you need something? I've got a score to settle. Can you help me? Probably. Send me the details. I'll put the feelers out. What happens next? My fee is 180. I'll start now. But come back when you have the money and I can start telling you where to look. Yikes. Yeah, sorry to be a mercenary, but my people need paying. Intel comes from betrayal. Betrayal is expensive. All right. So essentially what you end up doing is you start doing little missions to get enough money to buy better equipment to take on your personal mission. Your personal mission is usually going to be very hard. So you need to kind of, uh, you need to get the equipment to be able to do it. But once you have enough money, you can get intel on that mission, figure out exactly when you can do it, and then you can strike. And once you do that personal mission, a lot of times your character's done and you switch to a new one, but this is all mechanics I'll explain at another time. Uh, so, with every mission, you find your ship that you're trying to do the mission on. Here I'm supposed to rescue a person. And you fly to one of their airports. Now, do not fly into this light, because if you fly into the light, the ship will shoot at you. My first ever character to die died this way. Now, currently, I have... What do I have? I have a long blade. This will murder people, and I have a stealth shield. The stealth shield, you hit the uh, you hit the button, and as long as the person is blocked by this, as if it was a physical object, they won't see you. But oh god, but they can see you from behind. So all right, well he's not looking at me anyway. But I can use it five times, and is this rechargeable? It is. 
So rechargeable means that any time you go back to a friendly station, it will go back to full. If it's not rechargeable, when you use it up, it's just done forever. Uh, I need to find the key. That guy has a key right now. Now I'm going to try to use my stealth shield to stealthfully steal his key without him saying. Now, the way he was faced, I probably could have done that without the stealth shield, but I just wanted to be absolutely sure. So you don't need to kill someone or knock them out to take their key. You just need to get really close to them and take it from them. But I just took up my target, I picked him up, and I put him in my pod. That is all I needed to do. Now, some missions later on you'll get bonuses for being completely stealthy like I was, but not regularly. It usually has to be, like, uh, a client, because we're working for a client here. The, the missions are from random clients. And they are generally for the betterment of the area, at least through the eyes of this little resistance movement. So there we go, and it's raiding me, because I'm a ghost. No one saw me. No one knows that I was there. They're just gonna look and be like, that guy's... gone. Weird. And I got 12 bucks for it. Now, there's a bunch of different shops here. There's nothing at the gadget shop right now. There's this. I want a wrench. That was only one buck. A wrench is like the longsword. It's exactly like the longsword, I think. Uh, it might be louder, though. Yeah, but it's a non-lethal kill. It's just a good thing to have. And I doubt I can afford too much right now. Replacement pod, which I've never needed. A grenade launcher. That might be fun to show. <laughs> Wouldn't normally buy one of those, but hey. Oh, that cost all of my money. Why did I think that cost three? Well, I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Let's do another mission. Um, this mission, if I do it then um, Satter will take off 40 bucks from my fee, which is huge. But I don't think I'm ready to do a hard mission quite yet. Let me do one. I just want to ease into the mechanics. I I'm probably, I, I might be capable of doing a hard mission, but let's do something I can definitely handle. So we're going to go to the easy mission. And it looks like I'm capturing someone. So it's, I'm glad I bought the wrench because I don't know what I would have done afterwards. Capturing means you need to non-lethally kill someone and put them in your ship. It's exactly like rescuing. Except it's like involuntary rescuing. <laughs> so ports in the back. Matching speed. And there we go. So I just need to capture that person with they're behind a locked door. So he has the key. Oh god, the cap. Never mind. I don't even need to get the key. So switching to my wrench. Bonk. Alright, he's unconscious. He can move his body. There's also... Oh, but there's a treasure chest here. Well, <laughs> I don't know if you should call them treasure chests. But I would like that, to be sure. So let's see here. Alright, he's moving. Is he coming up? He is. Stealth shield. Alright, let's see if I can sneak behind this guy with my stealth shield. Alright. And I could just as easily knock him out. There's no, like, penalty for doing that. Oh, crap. You just saw the, you just saw the body. Uh, well, now I need to take him out. <laughs> now I'm not as stealthy as I wanted to be. In here is a key cloner, an extremely useful item. It is not rechargeable, though I get to use it a maximum of three times. Uh, this is my target, right? Yes, all right. <laughs> So I wasn't as cool that time because I didn't hide the body. I should have just put it in my pot and then everything would have been fine. Oh well. Let's go back. Also, if you're flying through space, and I didn't know this for a long time, if you hit F, it'll go faster. So you don't actually have to watch the whole travel time. F just generally, I think even when you're just waiting around for guards and stuff, you can also hit F. And time will speed up. Alright, dropping off my target. And there we go. Got the money to pay off that wrench. Now this time I didn't get ghost, but I did get bloodless because I didn't kill anyone. I harmed someone, but that's not an issue here. Enigma means that no one saw me. So even the guy that I knocked out, they didn't see my face. So when they come to, they're not going to know what the hell happened. They're just going to be like, something hit me on the back of the head. Um, I think it's time that I, that I bump up the difficulty a little bit, though. We're going to go to medium. I think I'm also going to get my hands dirty. Let's assassinate someone. So we're going to off-world security. There's a few guards. Uh, like a three-minute time for... That's practically infinite. <laughs> um, and they have a concussion gun. A concussion gun is a non-lethal gunshot that will knock me out. If you get knocked out, they're probably going to pick you up and throw you out an airlock. You then have a few seconds to catch yourself with your ship, just like you did in the tutorial. If you don't catch yourself in time, you suffocate to death and die. 
if you do catch yourself in time, you're probably still going to be injured a little bit. Now, it looks like the ship is already moving to the base, so I was mocking that amount of time, but I didn't realize it was going to start before I went, because they're going home right now. I need to assassinate my target before they get home, or I will be captured. We don't want that. So that guy has a key right now. Um, this is probably a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Grenade! Assuming people heard that, no? Alright, well, they're not really coming. Um, let's get my longsword. Alright, he's dead. Uh, if I kill the captain, you notice the timer stopped. No one's flying the ship anymore. It is no longer going home. Let's check the crate. Uh, rechargeable Sidewinder. Putting that as my secondary ability. The Sidewinder allows you to teleport to any location that you would have been able to walk to anyway. So, like, I can't teleport there because the door is there. However, I can teleport here because I would have been able to walk here. I'm now right behind my target, and I have killed him with a sword. That's it. Uh, ship is also secure. Now, if the ship is secure, that means you knocked out or killed everyone on the ship. And you are actually able to go to where the captain is and pilot the ship all the way back to your base. There's not a huge reason to do that most of the time. Um, ooh, he has a concussion gun. I think I'll take that. <laughs> um, yeah, set course for friendly station. Now I don't even have to worry. It's going to go to the nearest friendly station, of which there is only one currently. Also, you notice there's different factions here. Got these guys, we got these guys, we got these guys, and then we got these guys, which seem to have a large portion here. Um, every universe, by the way, the configuration of the different stations is randomized, so uh, this did not look... It, did, it looked differently when I uh, first played. But there we go, I stole a ship. Just cuz. <laughs> Just cuz I could. And we're doing pretty well here. We got 32. Now, once that liberation bar on the bottom fills up all the way, then something will happen. Um... I'm gonna be a little bit presumptuous. Let's see how be No, never mind. This is too hard. Yeah, I can't do this yet. That's too bad. Let's just do another medium. This time I'm gonna have to steal something. And another cool thing that you can do is that you don't just have to go to the ship that the mission is on. There are ships, like, flying around space randomly. If you're all the way zoomed out, you're probably not gonna see them. And you don't see them until you're kind of close also. So I'm actually just zoomed in so I can maybe look for one. It looks like I got to the ship I was supposed to get to really fast, though, but... The reason you want to go to random ships is because there's crates in them, and you can steal equipment even when it's not a mission. It's a great way to just bolster your, uh... your arsenal. You can also sell the items. Okay. Um, they're both looking at me. This guy has a ring around him. The ring around him is a, uh, heat detector. He will detect my body heat if I go anywhere near him. So, I don't want to do that right now. What I want is my... Didn't I take a rechargeable key cloner? I, I thought I had a regular... I know I had a regular key cloner, but I don't see it anymore, so that's kind of bad. But, um, I'm gonna use my concussion gun... ...to shoot that guy in the face. Now, he's saying... he's yelling intruder. What I'm gonna do now is take my long blade and hit T. T changes things to throw mode. I'm gonna take my long blade and throw it at this guy's face. He just knocked me out. <laughs> However, he knocked me out before anyone came, so I'm just going to regain consciousness. I did, however, um, take some permanent injury. So now if I get thrown out an airlock, I only have uh, 24 seconds to um, save myself instead of 30. But yeah, you can take weapons and throw them. Um, also, just like shown in the uh, beginning stage, any item on the station that's on the ground, you can magically teleport to yourself. So my long blade is back in my hand, even though I forgot to pick it up. Um... I need this guy's key card, and he has a, uh... Eh. And he has a, uh, shield thing. Boop. So time slows down whenever you're in danger. And you can also pause time. Pausing time can get you out of a lot of situations if you have the right equipment. Hey, Captain. No hard feelings. <laughs> but I need to steal this. Uh, anything that you steal on the steal missions, you're not allowed to keep or anything. Uh, also, let me show you something. Nah, this isn't the time for that. <laughs> the time will soon come, however. Let's just say there's alternative ways to leave the ship. 
that I that were shown in the tutorial, but you can do them anytime in an emergency, and sometimes you really need to. You gotta take the back door sometimes. There we go. Up. Be careful when speeding up. <laughs> Slow down and home free. Drop off that item. And boom. So we're about halfway there to liberation. I think I'll try to get to one liberation this episode. Now, is it, how hard is this mission? Um, guards will respond in 30 seconds if I trip it. There's a bunch of sentry guns. That's very dangerous. These guys have huge sensors. There's not specifically anything here that's going to completely be a gigantic problem, but I don't have the best, uh, I don't have the best equipment. Let me see here. These are all things I can buy. Placement pot I don't need. Oh, there's the key cloner. It was sent to my stash. Um... Items that you, uh, like, you can only carry a certain amount of items, but you can send as many as you want to your stash, and then you can pick them up at the station. So that's where my key cloner is. I definitely want to show that off, and it will almost definitely become extremely useful in this situation. So, let's move to rescue. Just use the speed up. I'm going to look for ships. No other ships around. So we're just going to go. And just remember, never to go into the light. Don't drive into the light, my son. As missiles will go into your port. Oh, jeez. Missiles will go into your body. The first character I ever had I got really into was like, alright, I'm going to avenge my son's murder. And then uh, my second ship, I didn't know I wasn't supposed to go in the light. I got shot. I didn't know how to stop the minigame where you don't die. And I just exploded. And it was really sad. I felt actual sadness. <laughs> but, okay. There's a sentry gun. If, the, if it lights up on you... Yeah, I'm going to try to be slick here. If you, like, there's a shot here and two shots diagonal. If you are in those lines when it's red, you will be shot. Uh, a lot of times you'll just be knocked out, though, but sometimes I think some of the turrets can kill you. So, who are you? You can also get information on um, different people. So, this guy has a shotgun, which means, like, since time moves slower when you're in, a, in combat, you can actually kind of dodge out of the way of regular bullets pretty easily. A lot harder to do that with a shotgun. But who has the key? He has the key. I need to get his key. One way or another. Um, uh, he just saw me. But he's only slightly suspicious, so I'm taking my stealth shield, stealth shield up. Now, he's going to look for where I was, but he's not going to see me as long as I'm right here. However, I am hiding. Alright, knocked him out. Uh, he is also knocked out. Now, I'm pretty sure someone else was on this section, and I don't want them to find the bodies. But maybe not. They might have been the only two grouped together. So we're going to move on. And you can zoom out as much as you want, but when you zoom out so much, it's hard to actually tell the particulars because you can't, like, move the camera around. Which I think is a nice feature. <laughs> it gives you a lot of information, but it does make it easier when you're closer. Also, this guy is totally coming here, so I'm going to hide in this corner. Alright. I'm pretty sure no one's going to come. I think it was just those three guys that were on a group patrol. Guards like to hang out in little groups together. Don't see any guards here. Also, where's my target? My target's over here. Uh, okay, looks like I have to go the long way around. No one's in this section. This guy's coming, though. Can I hit him off in time? Let's use the stealth shield so I can get close to him. Oh god, there's a bunch of people over there. Okay. So... Let's get my hands dirty. Grenade. I think that only killed, like, one of them. Now, this has started the alarm process, so maybe that wasn't the wisest thing. But it would have been if it killed all of them. It unfortunately didn't, so I just have to find the captain to stop this. Where is the captain? Is The captain's... not there. Oh, God. He could be... He might He might not be anywhere near here. Um, I just need to move on, though. This gun's gonna point at me? Alright. Killed him. Oh, I didn't need to kill either of those guys. All right. Um, pick up. All right. Um, I don't think I have much of a choice. Oh, crap. Put him down. <laughs> Where's my gun? He sees me, I think. I didn't get him. Dodge the bullet. All right. Where is he? Here? Got him. All right. Pick up target. All right. This is risky, but we're doing it. Concussion gun? He is... He'll, I hope this works. Okay. So now I'm gonna call my target. Alright. Um, 
All right. So what happened was... <laughs> The person I was supposed to rescue also got shot out into space because I pushed him so close to the window. So I had to rescue him too. If I didn't rescue him, I would have failed the mission. Because <laughs> he would have suffocated in space. But fortunately he's unconscious and didn't need to experience any of that horror. And also I just saw a ship as I was passing. I want to show you boarding a random ship. Because it's a good thing to know about. Not that it's going to be any different than a mission, except for the fact that there's no mission. Where are you? You can't hide from me. I guess it can hide from me. Alright, fine. Be that way. Disappear into nothingness. Let's go home, then. <laughs> Should probably get this guy to a medical facility anyway. He's a little bit asphyxiated, I'm assuming. Good. Snap back. There we go. My first hard mission is completed. Getting closer to that wonderful liberation. And I didn't show the key cloner, damn it. Um, board a small non-lethal weapons. I have a non-lethal weapon. I think this will give me enough to um, get the first liberation thing, which I do want to show. Also, every character has a different looking ship. He, this character has like a nice red one. It's a lot more uh, vibrant than a lot of the ones that I saw. But yeah, they're going to a space station. And note that time will be shortened if I shit off an alarm, because right now they're just casually going to the station. Like, no reason to like use up a bunch of fuel, right? They're probably just going on impulse thrusters. If they catch me, though, they're going to be like, Oh my god, there's someone on board. Get to the station now. We might not be able to deal with them. We don't know what's happening. So, getting caught's not great, is what I'm saying. Um, he has a level... Oh, crap. Okay. Did he actually see me? He did not. So he didn't set off the alarm. Um, oh. I just unlocked all level 1 doors without actually needing to... Uh, Get a key. Weird, they disappeared! Oh crap, that guy's behind me. Alright. None of them have set off the alarm yet. <laughs> and I just need to capture this guy. So that's not a problem. I really did want to show off the key cloner, just as it happened. So I'm switching to my concussive gun. Alright, well this is a problem. But how big of a problem? My target's unconscious. Uh, Sidewinder. So my Sidewinder can teleport if you're mount. I'm gonna teleport here. Oh crap, he saw me. Long blade! And... Teleport behind him. So now I'm behind... Yeah, oh crap, that didn't fool him at all. Oh god! <laughs> I meant to switch to my gun. At least you're gonna see what happens when you get thrown out of an airlock. Hitting F will get you thrown out faster. Boom! Alright, so I'm flying through space. I die in 24 seconds. The base is 30, but... Um, Alright, I have been injured. I now have 18 seconds anytime that happens. So you get second chances, it's just... Once you get a third, fourth, and fifth chance, you're in trouble. Um, but running out of time here. You're gone. Um, I still have stealth shield. <laughs> Got him right in the face. Alright, are there any... There's no items that I can steal here, so I'm just gonna... I didn't... I didn't pick him up. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna freaking... I, I don't want all this crap you throw me out of space. Just trying to rest... Get, there. There. No more time limit. Um... I wonder, can I just take the ship back and then my target is in the... Then it's fine? Let me see here. Fly ship. If I just set a course, maybe I don't even need to drag him to my pod, right? Because the... I mean, the space station will be there. Maybe it'll happen automatically. I'm kind of, I'm kind of wondering. So we're gonna see. I probably, it's probably just gonna show me uh, carrying him again like it did previously. But let's see. Yeah, sorry. It's just nice if you don't want to actually go someplace. Okay, I need to do just the simplest mission real fast. I'm gonna take this. There's like no one here. There's a skeleton crew. They just want me to steal some stupid thing. I'm not even gonna have to think about it. They probably have wrenches. <laughs> they probably have sticks and stones. Oh god, my bones. They're gonna be so broken. Well, hopefully they just won't make fun of me. That's what really hurts. Eh. Alright, simple little ship. Simple little cargo ship. I'm just supposed to steal something from it. Woo! Alright. I think it's about time I show you the majes majesty of the key cloner. Now, I could just go up and steal it, but I'm showing a thing. So, select the key cloner. Shine it on the person you want to get. I have now copied his key. 
Uh, because of that, I um, was able to take the thing. <laughs> and now we just leave. Bye! <laughs> Doesn't get much easier than that. Now, I mean, easy missions aren't really worth it. Even if you're just trying to practice, use the practice VR thing in the ship. It's actually very good. I, I would suggest it. Because then you can set up ridiculous scenarios without fear of death. Fire. I want to go to the ship, because I keep on talking about going to random ships, and I haven't been able to find one. This one looks like a simple cargo ship as well, but it's certainly bigger. Okay, they're going to a space station, though, so if I want to steal something, I have to do it fast. Um, also, these guys are probably completely innocent. I want to kill them. Let's see, wrench, concussive gun. Surprise! Alright, wrench, gun. Both taken out before they could do a damn thing. And we got... A concussive hammer. Concussive hammers are amazing. Now, I don't have enough space to carry it, so I'm going to replace my wrench with the hammer. The concussive hammer is exactly like the wrench, actually. It's just better. The wrench has a little bit of lag time each time you use it. The concussive hammer, you can be like, whack, 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 whack. So, it's an amazing weapon. It's one of the best weapons in the game, I feel. <laughs> and it's just a non-lethal hammer. It's so good. Against, like, regular unarmored guards, they're done. It doesn't even matter if there's, like, three of them in the room. You're probably going to be able to whack them all before they do anything if you get the drop on them. Alright, new liberation available. So now I go to the liberation screen. This is how you... It's, it's the upgrade system, essentially. Anything that's close to here has heard about the exploits of people on this station and now wish for liberation. So... Who is my personal mission against? I want to keep this, uh... I'm gonna keep this cool. Uh, okay, no one that I'm next to. I can either take out a glitcher station or an off-world security station. And you notice not all of these give you things. Be, um, but some of them do. Some of them have little symbols. So if I do this, I will get rechargeable crusher beams permanently on the station. That's actually amazing. This will give rechargeable key cloners. I'm just going to do this one first, I think. So now I'll be able to buy rechargeable key cloners from all stations that are friendly to me. And it's been renamed after my character. And I've also unlocked bloodless missions. So now, sometimes, when I, uh, when I take on a mission, it'll have a little tag by it that says bloodless. That means that I need to not kill anyone. If I do that, then I get the full amount of money. If I don't... I get, like, half the money. In fact, if I don't, I only get nine. That's less than half. They round down, apparently. So, I don't know why you'd round down if something's equally divided. But in any case, um, that's all I'm showing this this game. There, there's definitely a lot more to show. There's a bunch of different gadgets. Um, I'm going to put the trailer to this game in the description also, because the trailer's really amusing. And it does a good job at describing exactly why the game is cool. And, yeah, I'm going to try to play through the whole game. It gets a little bit repetitive, I have to say. Like, the first day I bought it, I played it for, like, 12 hours, and I, I kind of felt like I saw most of the things that were there to see. But, you know, I, I think they're adding more stuff. And it's just cool. I, I, I really do like the game. And, yeah, $15 right now. Link to buy it also in the description. There's a ton of link in the description, guys. <laughs> but, yeah, tell me what you think, because I'm going to be playing this for a while. And is, I'm currently a little bit obsessed with it. <laughs> Thank you to these lovely people that have helped my channel and my uh, aspiring mercenary career. If you would also like to support me, you can go to patreon.com slash crossknights.